Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today's topic I want to discuss is that suppose you have a bunch of XML file in a particular folder and you want to read through the Power BI, right? So if you open up any file, just double click on that, this is an XML file, this is an XML file, okay? But in Power BI, uh, right, you have a option to read only one file at a time. Let's see. So what is the way to do it? Let's see. So before to that, let me copy this path, open the Power BI, okay, and uh, let's see what the first option I have here, okay. And then I will provide you alternate to read all the file at one go, okay, which is quite interesting, let's see. So we have an option, first of all, if you go to the get data, click on the more, Let it come, it will take a minute. And XML source, okay? Just connect. And you can uh, check for your folder, right? And inside that, suppose you have selected one file. One file at a time, you can select it, okay? That is the only drawback in this case. It's fine. I can load the data, transform data. Okay, and this table contain all the data. Now you can expand it. Okay, to get all the all the columns on this further particular table. Okay, this is the first way to do it. But how what we will do when you have a multiple steps? I can't do it one by one. I can do it and I can combine. But at one go, suppose you want to do it. So there is a workaround. Let's delete this. First of all, make a connection to the folder where you captured your. Uh, XML file. Okay, so let's take the folder and I put my folder here. This is my folder where I kept all the XML file. Put it OK here. Transform data. And here there will be two options will be there. First is the folder path. Okay, and another is the file name. Okay, so just select the folder path and the name of the file. And just I didn't select the control, I need to press the control, go there, and press control and this, and right click, merge columns. And put this name as called the path, just a name, okay. So you will get a path, absolutely the path where the XML is there, this is my path and the other path will be get created. Now what we will do, let's create an, another connection here. To the Excel to the XML connection. So this time I will create the XML connection here, and I'll choose any file here XML one. Let's take. Okay, just put OK here. Okay. Right. Now what I'll do? Just expand this in this case. Finally, right click on this file. The rename is to just I want to rename this to let's take the get XML and I will convert this into a function. So what I'll do click on the advanced editor and whatever there in this case right so I will just before to that I will write a function okay so I will say path h text then space this is the way we can create your function. Now, instead of putting the individual content here, like XML1 or XML, just delete it and put here the path, whatever you created the folder, okay, the function. Now, click on the done, that's it. So, it will create a function. Now, go to the XML test where you want to retrieve it. Now, click on the add column, invoke the custom function, okay, let the name is custom only. Click on the get XML which is the function and select the column name. What is the column name I want to put? The path. Okay. Which I am passing on. Okay. Now you get the two tables here, right? So now I will just delete, remove other column which is only required that column only the get XML. Now we will expand this everything. I will get everything for all the files at one go okay so this is a trick where you can use 
to extract the XML file at one go. So you have any number of files you have in the folder and this is the trick. Okay. Hope you like this video. Do subscribe to this channel for more interesting content like this. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a nice day.